Hi guys, uh, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. Uh, guys, you might be wondering why I'm making a video on HR interview round. Uh, the answer to this question is that we all network engineers work very hard. We do prepare well for our technical round, but we don't spare few minutes for HR uh, round, which is which is a very uh, I think critical round after technical round because that is the round which actually decide whether you are in or out. So I just thought to make a video. So what I've done in this video is I have picked up five frequently asked HR interview question and answers. I hope you will watch this video throughout. I I will make this video a bit short, not too lengthy. Try to make this video about uh, seven to eight minutes or maybe ten minutes. Uh, so uh, guys, let's start with very first question. Tell me something about yourself. Uh, this is the question which is asked by each and every HR in every interview. So be prepared for this. This is, I would prefer, I'll say that my fresher uh, friends should answer this question very, very correctly because this is what is going to uh, create the impression of yourself that how you're introducing yourself. Uh, to start to answer this question, uh, start with this line myself Amar uh, I am from Pune I am graduate uh, from so and so university I've completed or I've completed my bachelor of engineering or BTEC from so and so university in so and so year uh, I'm currently carrying five six years whatever experience you have years of experience and I'm currently working with so and so organization previously I've worked with so and so organizations so this is what a short intro in a minute you can give to the HR uh, most of the HR after this question may ask regarding your family background. They may ask whether you're married or single, What you're, if you're married and what your spouse is doing or uh, she is into which profession or something like that. Maybe something related to your parents will ask. So this is something and very uh, question uh, which the HR gets into you. But this is a very important question because this is a very first question and this creates a bit good impression, impression if you answer this question really very well. Uh, question number two, why do you want to leave your current job? Now, while answering this question, many people lie a lot and they end up giving up some answer by which HR uh, mostly don't get convinced. So I have tried to uh, give this answer or prepare the, prepare the answer for this question a bit tactfully. So always give a tactful reason that why you want to leave your current job. Uh, try to convince HR that you are you have the capability to get more responsibility, which you are not getting in your current job, uh, and you want to grow in your career. That is one thing. Uh, try to say try 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 to tell the HR that how you want to improve uh, your work life balance or this current this new job which she is offering you. Will, uh, will actually improve the work-life balance uh, and, or how you manage your work-life balance and, and how it is going to help. So uh, most of time some of the jobs like have some people have the traveling issue or uh, maybe maybe some kind of uh, issue where they are not able to uh, uh, you know keep their work-life balance and how they try to keep the, how, they dif how difficult it is to uh, keep that work-life balance while doing their current job. So this is one thing which you can try to convince. In short, what I have to tell you that, try to convince your HR with this also. And the big reason why you want to change the job is relocation. Because uh, for example, some, some person is living in uh, Pune and for some personal reason, you have to go to Bangalore and the current office, current uh, company is not having the offices in Bangalore then and the new office, new companies having uh, the offices in Bangalore, then uh, this will be a very great answer. HR gets very easily convinced when you when, when you give such a valid reason of relocation. Question number three, what are your strengths and weaknesses? So whenever these questions are, people jump into this answer. Yeah, my strength is I'm a very hard working guy. Yeah. This is a good answer, but addition to it, also add that you are very honest. Uh, you say that you are a very good team members because only telling individual qualities, like from the perspective of individual performer, it's always important that you also tell something uh, 
so that the hr get convinced that you are not only an individual performer but you are a team performer or a good team member of your team uh, you can say that my strength is that i'm very optimistic i never give up and that kind of answers and uh, i'm a very fast decision maker so this are his strength most of people give this give the uh, answer to this questions very well but when it comes to weaknesses there the people get struggled so answering to this weaknesses if you say that i don't have any weaknesses uh hr will come to know that he's lying so try to give an answer where uh, where you are positive side will be shown but at the same time that, that those qualities are your weaknesses when once you are working in an corporate office so i have list down uh, this all weaknesses that i trust very easily somebody which normally creates issue for me uh, or uh, sort of answers where you can say that i trust very easily i never say no uh, which most of time uh, comes on me and uh, I, i it it results into increasing workload sort of thing uh, i'm a very straightforward guy uh, because of which normally uh, i don't uh, i fail to negotiate on the on the wrong things so that is one of my weakness uh, i do make very fast decisions because of which uh, sometimes if the decision goes wrong uh, again the blame is on me so again the fast decision making is one of my weakness it's one of the strength also but again it's one of the weakness and uh, you can end up that you know i am a very talkative guy so, so that is one of my weakness so these all the points which actually are not the negative points uh, but uh, they're not also positive but they're not negative points but it can be a good answer what i think uh, to this question that what are your weaknesses so do try sometime for this answer uh question number 4 what are your salary expectation guys most of us after hearing this question brings a small and a very uh good smile on your face for but again guys uh, once the hr asks you this question never think that you are hired no this is one of the question and uh, you have to answer it very uh, politely because i have seen many people who uh, normally answer this question they actually fight with the hr uh, for this uh, particular uh, salary negotiation sort of thing so uh, i'll always say guys be polite with hr because they are doing their job uh, don't fight with them for your salaries uh, salary negotiation is again uh, again a very uh, it's a it's a skilled thing uh, which should uh, which which you come over once you get more experience but uh, negotiating salary with hr i always recommend that uh, whenever you're negotiating before you do some uh, self evaluation some research work uh, ask hr uh, that what exactly role what exactly uh, profile position you are getting in this new job so that you'll get a very good idea that in this company i'm getting this position so there are a lot of uh, online uh, websites from where you can search that you know like glassdoor.com from from where you can search for this company for this position this is the salary range so that will be a and you know you will get some idea that what exactly salary you should get uh, that 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 would really help you in doing in salary negotiation uh, also show a much interest uh, in the career in your job profile in the whatever job profile they are offering you so that will again add a bit in uh, negotiating the salary but again guys be polite with your hr never fight with them question number 5 why should i hire you uh <clears throat> the trick to answer this question is uh, always have a good understanding of your job description whatever job description the hr mails you initially so always have a good understanding of that always have a good look at that and uh, try to convince the hr as well as your technical te- technical interviewer that up uh, the skill set which are which is which are mentioned in the job description do match with the skill set what you actually having now so you know that is what is is because because the, those people interviewers always look for that look for the similarity between your skill set and the skill set for their for, for which they're looking for so uh, tell what makes you different because a lot of people who will be coming 
uh, for their interview, but few get selected. So always try to convince them that how you are different from the others uh, by giving a very good planned answers for the HR interview. That that is what you can do. Uh, answer with confidence. You should have confidence. You should have passion and energy while answering this question, which actually is uh, you know because you know in in, in the uh, when the, when the question is asked regarding strength, you will say that I'm very confident, I'm very energetic in the, this and this. But while giving an interview, if your energy is low, the HR comes to know that you're not that energetic. So always be confident. Whatever you are saying, whatever you are, uh, you have been, been, been giving the answers, be passionate about your profile, about your profession, uh, which actually reflects on your body language also. So guys, uh, this were the uh, five... Uh, interview HR interview question and answers which I have faced my friends have faced over the years I have discussed I had discussion with my friends uh, before making this video because uh, I actually want to get uh, into, into into more detailing of this of this video so guys uh, for this video I'll stop here I'll come up with more videos uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel guys please do subscribe to my channel number tech stuff uh, Please uh, on the notification by hitting the bell, bell icon and uh, I'm ending this video guys best of luck if you are attending any interviews nearby best of luck and do let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions for me. Uh, thank you for watching the video have a nice day.